good morning. I thought today, being Monday, the start of the week would be a good day to reset a little bit. Nothing drastic, but just kind of reposition what we're doing and what we're talking about. The, um, the point of all of this, these videos and these vlogs, kind of twofold. One, I just want to do it for fun, but B is to really motivate myself and I brought my brother who goes by Harvey on here along to do the same thing and we've been working out. So I'm making these daily vlogs. He's also making, uh, we're doing those response videos. So if you haven't seen them, we have a conversation that's been going for almost two months now back and forth. And I post a video, he responds, I respond, he responds. And it's just a back and forth on videos. And the main focus there has been like kind of fitness right now or just getting started with fitness. And I was thinking about it last night one of the issues we have, and he kind of alluded to this in his recent videos, he was saying he's really kind of tired and just trying to make it by. And I realized like, well, make it by how? What What is success and what is failure on this this journey that we're doing? Or, you know, with these goals, what, what are we trying to do? And so I thought this week, it'd probably make a lot of sense to focus on what the actual goals are and that way we can stick to them. So we've done this, I've done something in the past, I'll explain it a little, in a little bit more detail here. I kind of alluded on it, to it on the video I just sent him, but essentially I've had this method that worked for me when I was really overweight, I was really out of shape, uh, I wasn't taking care of myself and I, I really changed my life a lot and I feel like I'm in a great place now because of it and the amount of work I need to do now compared to then is actually less. So that's that's kind of motivating. But the method I used was to think about something. If you are not happy with where your life is or, or how you are maybe health-wise or family-wise or work-wise or anything like that, that means there's ultimately a goal version of where you want to be, right? So if I don't like my weight right now, I'd like to weigh this. If I don't like my cardio, here's where I should be. I'm not happy with my job, here's what would be better. There's always like answers and they always seem like they're far in the future. And what I think a lot of people do is they look at goals long-term and they become very daunting and very challenging and progress is very slow, which could be demotivating. So for example, weight loss. Let's say I want to lose 20 pounds and I say, okay, I weigh this, I wanna weigh 20 pounds less. It's a very simple goal to set. And you say, okay, I'm going to do it in three months or whatever it is. You're going to lose so little weight over each day that it doesn't feel like you're making progress, even though you might be. And when you're 10 pounds down, you still have 10 to go. There's still a lot of time left. And you just, it's not a very re rewarding experience. And I feel like so many people, as you may recognize, start with that and then they fall off, right? And so I'm like... There's got to be a better way. And the better way is this. What would the person who's 20 pounds lighter than me be doing differently than what I'm doing? So that person might be counting their calories. That version of myself might be exercising every day. That version of myself might be taking a daily walk every morning when they wake up. You know, there's there's a lot of different things that person would be doing differently to weigh 20 pounds less than this version of myself does, right? So instead of looking at the goal, look at the day. Make a list, and I like the number six. I don't know why. It seems like five, four or five is a little short. Seven, eight is a little long. It seems like six always works, but maybe five or seven works too. Make a list of six things that that version of yourself would be doing that you're not doing. And so, like I said, that person takes a walk every morning. That person hits, hits the gym four times a week. That person uh, counts their calories every day. That person wakes up at a certain time in the morning. Things like that, right? And make that list. And instead of worrying about yesterday, instead of worrying about the scale, instead of worrying about um, tomorrow, just worry about those six things because we know that a person 20 pounds lighter than me would be doing those things. So I do each of those things and check that list off. It's only six things I have to do today, very manageable. Count my calories, wake up, exercise for 40 minutes, whatever it is, and I just go through that list. Do that today, great, done. Tomorrow. I just have six things to do. Do them, done. Next day, six things to do. Do them, done. Next day, I screw up, I only hit three of my goals. I had a bad day, whatever. 
move on. Next day, six things, do them. Yesterday doesn't matter anymore. Next day, six. So you're just doing those things every day. When you reach the goal, instead of saying, I want to lose 20 pounds in three months, three months later, you have been waking up early, exercising, eating right and counting your calories, whatever your goals were, you've been doing those for 90 days. You most certainly, whether you lost 15 pounds or 25 pounds or 10 pounds or whatever, you most certainly are going to be in a much better position than you were before. And you didn't have to like look so far and down the tunnel, hoping there's a light and finding motivation in something you can't see. Instead, my motivation is, oh, I could do these six things today. It's not a big deal. So when I did this before, um, I lost like 40 pounds, I think. And I was in incredible shape, kind of lost my way a little bit um, <laughs> with that. I'm not no, nowhere near as heavy as I was before that. Um, and I'm in better shape now than I was before that, but I'm not where I was at the end of that uh, when I did it last. Harvey did the same thing. He was going through some stuff and he used the, the list as well. And we did it together for a while and it worked really good. Uh, much time has passed. I don't think either of us had kids when we started that. Now we do. And there's a lot of other responsibilities and things going on in life. And so I want to circle back and do it again. And I want to set those goals. And I think this could be like the thesis of what we're trying to do with these videos. That's what the piece that's been missing. We say we want to be a fit dad. We say we want to be better fathers. We say we want to motivate other men to do the same. But just kind of talking every day about, oh yeah, I was tired today and I did push-ups is not going to get us there. Um, we need to have like a core, like a core value, a thesis, uh, uh, a mission statement, if you will. And I think this is it. I don't know if he's going to agree. I sent him a video earlier saying that's what I want to do, and we'll see if he, uh, we'll see if he's on board. If he is, I'm going to set my goals. We're going to talk about them. He's going to set his goals. He's going to talk about them. And so that way, when somebody wants to know what we're doing, they're going to know what we're doing. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm feeling really positive. Like I said, it's a reset. I think one of my goals too is going to be to cut my hair. I always wait too long and it drives me nuts. I, people are probably like, your hair doesn't even look long, but trust me, it's just when it's so short, one week ruins it. So I think one of my goals might be related to, to my hair length. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm going to get to work now. I have a reset uh, for my, my job too. Luckily today, I will say this in a positive way. Last week was like extremely busy, overwhelming at times, but we had a lot going on and it was very good. I My job is like when thing, when it's busy, it's good because that means money is happening and things like that. But when it's sometimes when it's too slow, it's not good. But this week looks normal, which I'm very happy for after how crazy last week was. And then, yeah, we'll cut my hair today. Maybe run some errands, things like that. Have some, have some fun. I went on for eight and a half minutes on this, so it's going to be a long video today, so strap in. <laughs> Of the many things that I do at my normal job, one of them is I run some contests, and uh, here are the prizes. Well, here's some of the prizes for a few of the people that won, and it's just funny. You think like, oh, I won something from this company. These days, everyone works from home, so <laughs> literally just sitting on my couch right here in my basement next to my treadmill, and I'll just be sent from here. So that's where your prizes come from, I guess, sometimes, but... Let's run over to the post office. I printed all the labels here. I need to get some of those flat rate boxes because there's a couple of iPads. So I want to get like them, them insured and it's actually the best price. So I'll bring the packing stuff with me and when we get there, we'll just pack them in the car and send them on. Post office is looking quite busy today. There's a line just to get in. First things first, things first we have to get in here we can find somewhere to park. And I need to get two of those flat rate boxes. We'll pack the last two items in the car. And then this post office has a self scan thing up front. So I should just be able to scan them all in and drop them in the box. Okay, what a cluster. Look, we got a nice spot right here. All right, let me run in real quick. We'll be back. Yeah, the court 
probably isn't going to go through anymore, so we can just put it in the center. But I'm like, Oh. Absolute complete, complete madhouse in there. So luckily we're smart. I do this all the time and I've already got everything packed up or labeled, I should say, and paid for. So let's just try to get these in here. Get the labels on. Where did those labels go? Here they are. Get these taped on and we'll be all set. There we go. Ready. Okay, labeled, packed, ready to go. Scan prepaid label. Got those dropped. I just realized the reason it's so crazy today is because it's April 15th, it's like tax deadline day. So the whole line was people with envelopes that need to send their taxes and have it postmarked by today. So they had to make sure it like got in or else it would be late technically. So that's why it's so crazy. But we just used the self scan thing, it took two minutes. and. Finished work, now I'm taking this dog out for a, a walk. She's, it's our fault. She's been in the house all day today and hasn't gone out, but she's a monster right now. So embarrassing. <laughs> she's tiring out now, finally. We've been out for like 35 minutes. But uh, yeah, good day at work. My wife had a eye appointment and we went to the eye doctor. She's looking at new glasses. I realized I haven't got new glasses in a couple years. And, you know, with my insurance or whatever, I have entitled to a pair. So I started trying some on. I, I might get a new pair, too. We'll see. But other than that, um, talk to Harvey. We're going to possibly go live tomorrow to discuss our goals. As I mentioned earlier, he's totally on board. So we might do, like, a live stream to go over them together. I think it'll be fun. But uh, let me finish with this dog, and then I will uh, I'll be... Uh, ready uh, to have a relaxing night. With everything else going on today, I almost forgot one of my most important goals, cut my hair. So I gotta say, my dog, I feel bad. Like it's kind of like a tough spot and I know it's more my fault, more our fault than hers, but she's always been like a crazy dog, like high energy, she's wild, but she's always like nice and usually listens you know even though she's like running around and full of energy she usually listens lately especially lately because of the baby my wife and i have been so tired so we have been neglecting her taking her out and stuff we used to go to the park a lot the weather's also sucked things like that but just for like normal walks like around the neighborhood we haven't been doing it as much and her behavior has just gotten really bad and when she gets out like right now we went for a walk for like 40 minutes. She was just, every dog she saw, everyone she saw, she was just going ape shit. So I'm frustrated with her. I don't want to be mad at her. I mean, like I said, it's, it really is our fault because we don't, um, we haven't been taking her out as much. So sneak preview tomorrow, Harvey and I, we've talked about doing a live stream and going over our goals. We're going to do that. We're going to do it. And my method, which I'll talk about a little bit as I'm cutting my hair, but my proven method that works for fitness and exercise and also more importantly, just like life improvement involves making goals that are not just strictly about exercise or things like that. And one of my goals is going to be around taking the dog for two walks every day, no matter what, just to make sure, well, not no matter what, besides rain because she can't go out in the rain. She doesn't like it, and I don't want her to be wet. Anyways, to set to take her out twice a day when we can to tire her out, because after we do big walks like this, she's an angel. She's, like, happy. She's calm. Uh, everything is great. So, yeah, our fault. Anyways, next. I'm doing this for what, who I'm considering my number one fan on YouTube because he's my only fan on YouTube so far that watches all these videos for sure. Steven, it's a one. So I usually do 1.5. Steven's been watching the videos and he said, Steven or Stefan, I'm sorry, I think it's Steven, um, has been saying, uh, oh, that light went out. I'll have to go turn it back on, but been saying he wants to cut his hair really short, but he's scared to do it too short. 
And I said, it's, it grows back, you know? So I usually do 1.5, but he said, do a shorter. I'm gonna do a, uh, a 0.5 today. If we don't like it, then next week we'll do 1.5. So let me get this light real quick. Okay, seems like the light went out quicker than usual. I don't know why. Usually it goes for a while, but. All right, right down the middle, Steven. One point or 1.0. I'm gonna go upstairs tomorrow. It's gonna be like, what happened to her hair? That's short, but it's not too bad. We'll see how it looks in a minute. Yeah, one one is gonna be good. I think I used to do a one actually. Yeah, it doesn't look too short. It's short. I mean, it's definitely short, but it's not. It's not like a buzz, like skinhead or something. I used to shave my head all the way with a razor, but I was I had big muscles then. <laughs> yeah, this is like a real cut. I mean, it hasn't been that long since I did it, but since it's shorter than I usually do, it's definitely it's definitely going down. So as I'm doing this, I'll talk about my method. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but we got to come up with six goals. I like to fo focus on a few different things and I'll go into extreme detail on the live stream with Harvey and we'll, we'll talk about it. One of the goals is what I call my automatic goal. So you want to give yourself something that's like a no brainer, something you can do early in the day. The reason that is, is because the more the day goes on, the more your goals become like daunting. Like, oh shit, I haven't done any of my goals. I have so many to do. So starting the day out with a win puts you in that positive attitude where you can say, oh yeah, I already have one down. I've already accomplished something. And for both of us, what our normal start of the day goal was in the past, we're both not gonna be able to do it because of our young children and our wives. And that has always been to make your bed. So my old goal used to be, as soon as you get up, no matter what, make your bed. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You don't have to wash the sheets. Just, you know, tidy it up. But now both of us go to work. Both of our wives are tired because we have infants in the house. So I think most days both of us have a, our wife is sleeping in the bed. So I'm gonna try to come up with something equally as easy, but not involving our wives waking our wives up so that they can sleep in so that's one and we're going to do some goals around fitness and stuff um some pretty basic stuff there i'll see what he has to say about it and then um definitely for me the dog thing man i was frustrated about the dog today she i'll tell you what she did in a minute but that's um that's going to be one so it's, or probably two or three of them are going to be like fitness related and the dog and the dog's kind of fitness because I'm taking a walk with her too. So it's good for me. And then, um, I usually like to do some sort of call it mental health or just like emotional health or just like relaxation maybe is another way to put it. I, um, the last time we did goals, I had a goal to write in a journal every day. And what was happening was I was I had six goals and I was doing five of them. No problem, all five. And like it was the end of the day every day and I had like still had to write my journal. It just became such a, it became so much more of a burden. And it was the one thing that was, it was stressing me out more than it was helping me. So I'm not gonna do the same thing again. Um, but I am going to do something along those lines. I gotta think about it. What I ended up doing last time, it was more, instead of writing in the journal, I said, I'll post a video every morning. And I started doing that and actually was, uh, ended up being super beneficial for both the Rumble channel, because that's where I was doing it. And also it was a way of journaling. It just wasn't writing. So maybe we'll do something like that. And I already post like four videos a day now. It's usually the average. So I do the daily video, I've been doing it. This is the 20th one. And I've probably done 20 of them in less than 25 days. Harvey and I do our conversation videos back and forth. We usually, almost every single day, we have at least at least one each. 
Sometimes we do a total of three, if, depending on what time we do them. So sometimes two to three a day on that. And then I've been doing my shorts, the 365 things I've learned since my son was born. I mean, like, what is today, day 86 or something like that? Haven't missed a day yet, so I'm pretty proud of that. And uh, so all those together is four a day. All right. How does it look? I won. I think it looks good. I don't know why I'm getting this patch. It's like darker. It's not longer, but it's just like, I think it's from wearing a hat. I don't know what to do about it. It's, it's not like darker or longer or thicker. It's just like the hair is at a different angle. So it shows up a little bit. See that? Actually, I really like the one. The one feels better than the 1.5. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Steven or Stefan. I, I think it's Stefan now. I'm, now I'm questioning myself, but thank you for at least asking. I know you didn't say I had to do it or I don't feel pressured. But he said I should try it, and I'm gonna say if you're on the fence about doing it, do a one. The one feels nicer. The one gives you that. The 1.5 maybe looks a little bit better, like maybe just a slight bit better, like for like appearance. I don't know, but this 1.5 is like, or this one, it gives you that velvety feel that you can't beat. My wife will like this, so if you want to impress the ladies, go for a one. Actually, that was that's another goal I was thinking about. I gotta think of how to incorporate because I don't cut my hair every day, but making sure that I cut my hair every week, keeping myself groomed. That was actually part of that. I was telling a while back, someone was asking me about the goals, and he was trying to do some for himself, and I was trying to help him out. And you know, one of the things he had told me a little different situation. I'm married, but he's like didn't have a girlfriend, couldn't meet a girl or anything like that, or was having issues in that department. I suggested to this guy, I said, well, your goal should be to take care of yourself. I mean, he's like, oh, I don't care about that stuff. I'm like, yeah, but the girls do. So if you have like long shaggy hair, your beard looks nasty like mine does right now. I'm not gonna get too many dates like that. You gotta be clean and nice. There are very few guys who could pull off like the total scuzzball look. And unfortunately for guys like most guys, like normal guys like me, those guys who can pull it off can pull anything off because they're really handsome. So if you're just like average Joe, like you're not gonna be able to do some wild shit. You gotta get, you gotta stick to the rules. Okay, I think this is almost done. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I like the one. I'm really happy actually. Now I gotta figure out what to do with the beard though, because the beard. Hmm. Eh, still like I'll, I'll take, Let's do 1.5 on the sides. Let's start there. Okay, what is this? 1.5. Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty solid. All right, let me get my other thing. I think we're gonna go for a four on the beard. Let's try this out. I usually do four or five. I've been I've been liking it shorter lately, especially as it gets warmer out. It's not that much longer than a four, anyways. So I'll usually do a four and then clean it up. So I, it's actually it's actually shorter, but this is the longest length any of it will be. Yeah, I could hear it's barely getting anything already. I gotta say, these clippers, I've had these for a very long time. Wall or whatever, W-A-H-L or however you say it. W-A-H-L, wall. I know that's like a normal, like a name. It's like cheap, like Target or Walmart ones, but I bet they're 10 years old now. And as hairy as I am, they get all, they've gotten a lot of use. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, other than that, they're having a lot of fun. 
making these daily videos. Post them on Rumble, post them on YouTube. YouTube has good analytics, so I see how much or how little people are actually watching them. But like I said, I think I've really been uh, a believer. I'm a believer in like journaling and I'm a believer in like therapy and like talking about your feelings and stuff. And I know it's not always like a lot of guys aren't like that, but that stuff really helps. Especially if you have, if you have, like, have a hard time with anything. Both of those things have helped me in the past for different reasons. And, uh, I'm just like, uh, when it comes to, like, writing in a journal, I love writing in, like, a physical book, but I'm really, like, a slow writer. Like, hand, like just motion lines, I write slowly. So my mind goes so much faster than the pen. And I kind of, like kind of like ADD about stuff. So, I'll be on like three, three subjects past in my mind what I'm physically writing. And then sometimes I'll do um, like some sort of notes app on the phone and write like that. I could go a little bit faster, but still like the problem with that is the ability to edit. Not that you need to even edit something that's just for your thoughts, but I get into that habit too. And so that's not always perfect, but making videos, it's like talking, you know? It's as fast as your mind can go and it's really easy. And so I find making videos to be very therapeutic. So, and I believe when I was making videos, when I was trying to make videos for other people, meaning I was trying to make videos that other people would like, and I had some success with that, you know, um, I wasn't liking it. And I reinvented the videos I was making so many times, and I just, it wasn't making me happy. In fact, the more I reinvented and the more I changed, the more miserable it made me. And, uh, and that was on YouTube. And then I started making stuff on Rumble and I had no followers. And it was just uh, so refreshing and I felt so good because I was doing anything I wanted. I didn't care at all because no one was watching it. And then people started watching those. And then I got into this situation where I had this YouTube channel that I worked so hard to get like followers and subscribers and all this stuff and good, good metrics and monetization and all that. So I didn't want to like just muddy up my YouTube with like random shit like this. And so for a long time, I was like really focused on Rumble and no YouTube. And the YouTube just started like dwindling and floundering. And it was really only a couple months ago when my wife was, we're about to have our baby and my, and I was like, I don't have time for this anymore. All the stuff I did on YouTube was like traveling and adventuring and stuff, which we'll do again when he's older. We'll definitely do stuff with him, but it's going to be a while before he's older. We're probably going to have more kids. So they're going to be young. So it's going to be like quite a while. So I said, you know what? Let me just do it. So I just start posting every day what I want on YouTube. And I've been, I've been feeling like so much more relaxed. And like I said, like therapeutic wise, like this has been so helpful for me in this difficult time of having kids and moving and working at the same time and all the stresses. This has just been like a really, really nice break. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy. So I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it the way I want to do it. All right, I'm gonna have to get closer to the mirror off camera to tidy these little edges up. So let's, let's give it a minute. Here's the deal. That other one, I was just saying how it's lasted so long and it's good. I've had this Remington battery operate, like rechargeable beard trimmer to do like edges and stuff. This thing is dying. <laughs> this thing is, I think the battery is actually low, but I think it's been like five Christmases in a row. Everyone's like, what do you want? And I'm like, oh, I need a new razor. And then they say, a new trimmer. And they say, oh, what, what do you want? I don't know, like, what kind of, what to buy you. And then I'll be like, you know what? Nah, don't worry about it next year. But now it's like, it's really crapping out. Um, I will say it's, a, it's, it's lasted a very, very long time. And I really think, I think the battery is just getting low. So I think it doesn't cut as well. But I'm really struggling to line this up. So... Might have to finish that a little later, but uh, yeah.
thanks for hanging out. I feel like, like I said, Bald and Bankrupt or Kurt Kaz or Harold Balder, all these guys who do these travel videos around the world, they're always like in India somewhere doing like, talking while they're getting a $2 haircut. And uh, <laughs> maybe that's why I like doing this. Yeah, it's not, it's not cutting. It's not cutting. But I think it's good enough. Now I need to take a shower and actually shave with the razor down here. And we'll be done. So that was good. That was good. Looks short. But I like it. I like the one. Maybe I'll, I'll keep it for a little while. But it is a lot shorter in this light. <laughs> I did the beard, but I didn't shave. I took a shower and then one thing led to another. Wife needed help with the baby. Time was, it was getting late. We had to put him to bed and stuff. So I said, you know what? I'll take a shower in the morning. I took a shower, obviously, to clean off all the hair and everything. But when I shower in the morning before work, I'll uh, I'll trim it up. So feeling good about it. It's been a, it's a fun video to make today. This is probably the longest one I've ever done. I can't imagine that I've had one over 30 minutes. I think we're probably at 31 or 32 minutes. So thanks if you made it this far. Um, I really appreciate it. Tomorrow, I'm trying to think of what's going on tomorrow. Most of the day will be normal. Um, but after work, my brother and I are going to do a live stream. We're not sure exactly what time yet, but I'll post it as early as I can. And we're basically going to have a live stream where we connect with each other. And we talk about not only what our goals are. I know I'm going to do six things. He said in his reply video to me earlier that, he might do more or less. He's not sure. He has to really go through the list to figure out what the right number is for him. And that's totally fine. And so we'll do that together. And I want to talk about the goals and also just this plan. You know, what is it that we're doing? I think the biggest criticism for what we're doing right now and what we've been doing is that our idea is good, but our presentation of the idea is very impossible for, it's very difficult for anyone to understand like what the the, the mission statement of, of our of, of our videos, what it is. They just seem kind of random. And I, I think that we need to do a better job of like putting together like, here's the plan, here's the goals, here's what we're doing. So that if someone is interested or does watch the videos and is kind of staying along with us, that they don't have a hard time figuring out what's going on right now. I got a comment the other day on one of the videos. And of course, I've gonna have a million bad comments in the last couple of years so it's not a big deal like if you have negative things but i don't even think it was negative it just said what question mark like what the hell are you guys talking about <laughs> and so i saw that and i told him i said fair statement honestly if you watch that video it's like where's the context what, what's this about so we need to really start with like we're working on our goals we need to have a place where you could see the goals i'm thinking maybe in the description of the video i'll post the goals and just like for each video something like that you know there needs to be a little bit more structure to it so it's it's something that's worth following anyways um i've got a little bit of dishes some bottles to do not bad tonight my wife kind of stayed up on the bottles today so there's only like we have the sanitizer thing there's only like half of a load but i'll just do them all so that it's it's uh it's done in the morning and we start, start fresh. So thank you all for hanging out. I will see you later.